Hello students and welcome to the 5.7 you do and suggested practice problem video. Our first problem, we had a Ferrari that could go 109 miles in 30 minutes. We wanted to use this rate to figure out how far the Ferrari could go in 85 minutes. Because I knew that I um, was going to be using minutes to help me calculate for how far the Ferrari could go, I wanted to write my rate so minutes was in the bottom. So I wrote my rate as 109 miles over 30 minutes. From there, I needed to calculate my unit rate. And I do that by dividing both the top and the bottom of my rate by whatever the number is on the bottom. So in this case, that's 30. And I divided both the top and the bottom by 30. 30 divided by itself is 1, or any number divided by itself is 1. And then I was left with 109 divided by 30. I know, <coughs> here I know 109 divided by 30, so I set up my long division right here. And then I also know that 30 cannot go into 1. It's uh, 1 is too small. I know that 30 could not go into 10. It was too small, so I put zeros there. From there, I was left trying to figure out how many times 30 could go into 109. I know 30 times 3 equals 90. From there, I did some subtraction. 9 minus 0 equals 9. I had to borrow from my 1 here, and I turned it into 10 minus 9 equals 1. So I had a remainder of 19. I put a decimal period here and then brought down a 0. I was left wondering how many times could 30 go into 190. I know... 30 times 6 is equal to 180. So I did 6, and then I did some subtraction and got 100. I knew there again that 30 could go into 100 three times, and I got two decimal points, two decimal points, and that's where I wanted to stop. So I knew for my unit rate for this Ferrari, it could go 3.63 miles in one minute. I used my unit rate then to figure out how far the Ferrari could go in 85 minutes. I did this by multiplying both the top and the bottom of my unit rate by that distance that I knew I was trying, or the time that I knew I was trying to travel. So by multiplying both the top and the bottom of my unit rate, I knew I would end up with 85 minutes on the bottom, and I could use that to calculate my unknown distance that it traveled. Um, I did have to do some multiplication, so I had 3.63 times 85. So here is my work for that. I did 5 times 3 equals 15, carried the 1. I did 5 times 6, which is 30 plus 1. So I put a 1, carried the 3. Then I was left with 5 times 3, which is 15 again, plus 3 is 18. So I was left with 18, 15 for my first set of multiplication. I put a 0 and then went on and started multiplying with my 8. I did 8 times 3 equals 24, so I put a 4, carry the 2. I know 8 times 6 is 48 plus 2 is 50, so I put a 0, carry my 5. I'm left with 8 times 3, which is 24, and then I have to add 5, and that's how I got my 29 right there. From here, I um, add, did my addition. 5 plus 0 equals 5. 1 plus 4 equals 5. 8 plus 0 equals 8. 1 plus 9 equals 10. So I put a 0, carry to 1. And then I was left with 1 plus 2 equals 3. I knew in my initial problem, I had two decimal points. So I started at the end and moved my decimal point over 2. And I found that the Ferrari can travel 385 miles in 85 minutes. 385.55 miles in 85 minutes. For the bonus challenge for this problem, we wanted to find out how far the Ferrari could go in 60 seconds. The unit rate shows how far the car can go in one minute. 60 seconds is equal to one minute, so I know that the Ferrari can travel 3.63 miles in 60 seconds. The reason I know that is I converted the minutes in my initial unit rate to seconds and realized that it would still travel that 3.63 miles.
for the first suggested practice problem. We had a Mark V tank, and it could go um, 75 gallons, um, or it used 75 gallons of gasoline to go 35 miles. I knew that I was going to be using that rate to help me solve for how far the tank could go when it travels 18, or how many gallons of gas the tank used when it went 18 miles miles. So I wrote my initial rate so miles was on the bottom. I then used my rate to solve for my unit rate and I did that by dividing both the top and the bottom by whatever this number on the bottom is. I know 35 divided by 35 equals one mile and I know 70 divided by 2 or 70 divided by 35 is equal to 2. So the unit rate for this tank is it takes two gallons for the tank to go one mile. I then used my unit rate to calculate how far it would go in 18 miles. So in order to do that, I had to multiply both the top and that bottom by that 18. And I got 18 miles on the bottom because 1 mile times 18 equals 18. From there, I had to do 18 times 2, which equals 36. So it would take 36 gallons um, of gas for that tank to travel 18 miles. In our second practice problem, we had Mr. H, who spent $6.95 on 10 chicken nuggets. In order to find the unit rate for the cost of one chicken nugget, I had to divide both the top and the bottom by 10. Um, so, uh, I know that took some long division, so I set that up right here. I had my $6.95, and I was dividing that by 10. I know that 10 can't go into 6, so I put a 0 and brought up my decimal point. I was then wondering how many times can 10 go into 69. I know that 6 times 10 equals 60, so I put that there and did some subtraction. 9 minus 0 is 9, and 6 minus 6 is 0. I then brought down my 5 and said how many times can 10 go into 95? I knew that it could go in there 9 times. I again did some subtraction. I got 5 minus 0 equals 5, and then 9 minus 9 equals 0. I brought down another 0, and I was left with 50. How many times can 10 go into 50? 5 times, and I get it cost Mr. H um, $0.695 for one chicken nugget. I then used this unit rate to help me calculate the cost of buying 13 chicken nuggets. So to set this up, I put my unit right here, and I multiplied both the top and the bottom by 13. Here you can see my work for the multiplication. I set it up as 0.695 times 13. I go through 3 times 5 is 15. Um, 3 times 9 is 27, plus 1 is 28. So I put an 8 here, carried my 2, and then I was left with 3 times 6, which is 18 plus 2 equals 20. So I that's f what I get by multiplying by 3, and then had to add a 0, and I was left multiplying by my 1. Um, I know 1 times 5 is 5, 1 times 9 is 9, and 1 times 6 is 6. From there I did my addition, so 5 plus 0 is 5, 8 plus 5 is 13, so I put a 3, carried my 1. I have 1 plus 0 is 1, plus 9 is 10. So I put a 0, carried another 1. I have 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 6 is 9. My initial problem though, it had three decimal places, so I had to put a decimal place here and move it over three times. So I know it would cost Mr. H, and I did a little bit of rounding here, $9.04 for 13 nuggets. For the third practice problem, we had um, the ratio of Charmanders to Squirtles. Um, we were going to try and figure out how many Charmanders would be selected if we selected 60 Squirtles. So I knew that I needed to set my rate up with Squirtles on the bottom. To find a unit rate here, I had to divide both the top and the bottom by 47. I know if I did 48 divided by 47, I would end up with 1.02. So for every one Squirtle, I'd get 1.02 Charmanders. 
using that unit rate, I was able to multiply both the top and the bottom by 60 to figure out the number of Charmanders I would get with 60 Squirtles. Doing my math here, I set it up as 1.02 and 6, and then I put my 0 off to the side. I did that um, because, um, if, say I'm doing, um, I don't actually have to go through and do it that way, I can just bring it down. So I actually was able to multiply just 6 by 2, which is 12, carry the 1, 6 times 0 is 0, plus 1, I bring down my 1, and then a 6 times 1 is 6. But because I had two initial decimals, I had to move that over, and I got that um, if there were 60 Squirtles selected, there would be 61.20 Charmanders selected. And for the last challenge problem, I had to use a combination of our initial rate for the Mark V tank, which was 70 gallons for 35 miles. But I also knew that the tank could travel um, 5 hours and 20 miles. So I'll show you how I kind of did this. Um, I flipped this rate from the initial problem so I could get miles on the bottom. The reason I did that is because both this problem and this one had, um, I want to have miles in the bottom. So I flipped it so I have the tank going five hours. It takes the tank five hours to go 20 miles. I then found the unit rate for how long it would take the tank to travel one mile. And I did that by dividing both the top and the bottom by 20 and got that the tank could travel 0.25 hours in one mile. From there I wanted to figure out how far it would take the tank to travel um, 35 miles, right? So from there I multiplied both the top and the bottom by 35 and I got that it would take 8.75 hours for the tank to go 35 miles. Therefore, it would take the Mark V tank 8.75 hours to use the 70 gallons of gas, uh, um, gallons of fuel, and that is how you complete the ultimate challenge problem there. Hopefully you have a good day, and hopefully this video helps your understanding.